Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In the last episode, we learned about different customizing options for launching the browser. Those options are extremely important, especially when you are trying to deploy your code in a pipeline or higher environment. Make sure that you get comfortable learning those options. Today, we are going to do next level of data scrapping, which is extracting data from a website. Most often than not, this is a classic use case that you would be required if you are using Puppeteer. That is, you go to a particular web page and you try to extract the data like images, links, paragraphs, etc. Today, we are going to do that use case and we will make sure that we learn how to extract those elements. Without wasting any time, let's get started. This is part 5 of the series. Today, we are learning about extracting data from a web page. Following is the playlist that I'll cover around 25 episodes, including some advanced use case projects at the end. All right, so today what are we focusing on? Today we'll focus on launching the browser. We'll go to a page, we'll go and do some dollar dollar eval and extract elements, put them in a JSON format and output the in the console. Okay, that's what we are going to do. The whole point today is to learn how to extract any data from a web page. Without wasting any time, let's jump right into code. All right, so first I'll create a new file, episode 5.js. Now, uh, the first things first, we have to import our puppeteer. Puppeteer, and always I always say use auto completion as much as possible so that the errors will be minimum. All right, and don't be afraid of errors, they are part of the development more likely than not um, you would see some errors and that's okay so don't give up all right so first we'll create a browser instance using puppeteer.launch and for some reason i'm a fan of um, watching the uh, console open and see what it's doing that way i can debug faster then i'll create a page out from the browser and say new page And okay, so I have created a new page. So now next thing we'll do is navigate first. Okay, navigate to page and we'll use page dot go to. Okay, always remember to write await, otherwise it will fail because we are not telling it to wait. We have to make sure that the process is complete. So I'm going to go to google.com and extract the links and images that are there in the home page. That's my task for today. So let's go ahead and learn how to extract images first. And then we'll do the same process for links. For extracting images, I'll write images is equal to await. And then here we are going to write page dot. Now we'll write use double double eval, which means get the element incomplete. Now then we are going to loop it into a array okay and i'm going to so here what we'll do is we'll just loop that elements and map and what we want to do is extract only let's say source and alt tag of that images so let's do that Okay, and here I'm going to say element source element dot src. So I'm pulling the source attribute, and let's also pull the alt from the image. Okay, so that should be it. Now let's see if we have closed everything correctly. One is closed, and then we also need to close the map which we did. Then we need to close the page. Okay, so now this is correct. And let's put semicolon. So this is how we can extract all the images from that particular web page. Now we'll follow the same process for extracting links. I can just copy paste this, but for so that you are um, for your comfort, I'm typing it again. Again, page dot double eval, and then you will write anchor tag now. Okay. You'll write anchor tag followed by elements 
and then you are saying we will loop them which is fine and take it and map it elements dot map and we'll take each element individually okay and what we are going to do it's the same code basically what you just saw above and we'll have to close one more and here we are going to say for that particular link what do you want to extract right so one of the common classic cases is to extract the links from the page so let's do that and also maybe the text that is on the image so I'm going to say element dot text content okay so this will give me the um, inner value that means what is the text in between that particular link so now I have extracted the images I have extracted the links so let's do one thing let's take a count of it I'm going to say image count equal to images dot length this will give me the count of how many images are there and I'm going to say link count so I'm saying links dot length these two will give me the counts of how many images are there and how many links are there in that particular page then let's do a output of the above okay for now I'm going to do a console log but in the next episode I will show you how to write it to a file we'll keep adding complexity and features to it as we move along so stringify and here we'll just throw in our data that we collected image count and link count and just do a console log and then close the browser browser dot close all right so that's all we have to do to extract the images and the links from any given website okay what we have done we have just identified the images in the page looping them take extracting their information which is source and alt and same thing we are doing we are extracting the links and we are just taking a count of it and closing the browser simple as that okay let's now run it to run we'll write node followed by the file name okay so it's not running because we have created the function but we are not calling it so I'm going to say run so now you see the chromium is opening and it's opening the browser and it has created the uh, log JSON log of the data it extracted all the images that are there you see here PNG uh, Google color PNG and all text of it and all the links it has extracted and finally at the end you see it says image count is 5 and link count is 18 so so far we have achieved what we wanted to which is extracting the links and the images from this website and taking a count of them right this is how you can extract any HTML element. You can make it a paragraph, you can make it anchor tag, you can make it button, you can make it a list, anything that we want to extract from a web page. Right? So do give it a try. Do let me know if you face any problem. In the next episode, I will show you a very, very important use case, which is to extract the SEO information of any website. If you're trying to clone your competitor or trying to see what their SEO looks like, you can easily do that using extract, extracting the SEO data. I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I am enjoying bringing it to you. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. Let's continue the learning in the next episode. Thank you.